Hey small group leaders, fall is just around the corner and I want to give you six tips to get your small group kicked off right for the fall. So watch this quick video, then we will be sending you a Google form that you can fill out and let us know your plans for the fall and it will help us a lot. If you have any questions at all, you can contact myself, Rachel, or your small group coach and we will help you sort through all this information. Thanks. Step one, start praying. Uh, it's really important to include God in this process as we consider our plans for the fall. What would he have you do? Number two, meet with your co-leaders. Uh, it's important to also talk to your co-leaders about your plans for the fall. They might be surprised if you really make a ton of plans without them. So yeah, get together with your co-leader. It's a good idea. Number three, make some plans. Actually lay the groundwork for some real plans. So here's a list of questions on the screen that we're gonna need to know for your fall small group. I know this is super tricky, but this still falls under number three. Otherwise, I would have had like 12 bullet points and then it would have seemed senseless to have bullet points. But consider who might be a new co-leader with you for the fall. Who in your group is really kind of stepping up into a place where they could try leadership? Um, what other roles might they play in your small group? Are there people who could be maybe your community person, your service person, your city coordinator, different things like that? Think of leadership roles that people can play in your group and give them an opportunity to try leading. Uh, who knows, they could be the leader of a future small group. Number four, update your group on the city. Remember, we use the city to help us figure out how to get new small group leaders in your group. So it's really important that the information on your city group is up to date. Also, people looking at your group from the HOPE website are automatically linked to the city. So it's important that all the information on your city group is updated. So once you have all this information, get it up on the city. Remember, there's a document on the city, ironically, I guess, <laughs> on the city that shows you how to update the city. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work on that. Hey, there's my phone. <laughs> Tells me church is gonna start. Number five, begin communicating with your group regularly. Let them know the fall is coming. Get them ready to start the small group too. Tell them your plans, tell them what's going on so that they feel ready to jump right in when small group starts as well. Number six, get ready to come to small group leaders training. It's a one day, one day we ask you to be there with us all day. We actually feed you a pretty darn good lunch. So come on September 22nd, get ready and book out your whole day, nine to four, and we'll see you there. Thanks, bye. Uh, hey everyone, uh, birthday gnome here. It's been super hot, so he's kind of been hanging out by the air conditioner all summer. Uh, in fact, it's so hot that he actually can't speak which is a little disappointing uh, but he did still want to wish the August birthdays a happy birthday so he wrote them down for you so uh, happy birthday to the following people on the birthday gnomes list uh, he told me that he cares about you even though he can't say your name 